हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेरी गुड इवनिंग वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल टैलेंट ट्रेडर्स माई सेल्फ बाला हियर आई एम वेलकम यू ऑल टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल एंड वी आर एन यू टू माय चैनल काइंडली सब्सक्राइब यू चैनल सो यस्टरडे वी आर क्रिएटिंग दैट फर्स्ट कैंडल सॉरी सेकेंड कैंडल शुड बी दैमर ऑन फिफ्टीन मिनट्स टाइम फ्रेम सो वन ऑफ द कमेंट विच आई रिसीव ऑन माई चैनल इज अबाउट डेली टाइम फ्रेम सो इन दिस वीडियो I am going to follow, or I am going to find out the daily time frame hammer candle by using the charting scanners <clears throat> to find out that daily. And after finding the daily hammer candle, so we can uh, go to add up some modifications to get uh, even a perfect um, buy at a lower level. Something we can go for it. And uh, here this is a scanner which we have created yesterday, and uh, based on hammer hammer candle at the daily time frame. So. Uh, let, I am going to create this. How I can create? So I will open a new charting. So whatever the scanners which I have created, it will be directly shared to my paid group. So uh, it is not for free. Okay. So but I am showing you how to create. So if you wish, you can create. So I have already created that for a fifteen minutes. So I will copy that line and I can paste it on here. And the second line. This is our most important lines. Sorry, we need to copy. And I have copied it, and I have pasted here. Okay, sorry, I pasted here. Okay, so this is what a hammer candle. Simply, we are going to make a latest. Uh, instead of a uh, fifteen minutes or a thirty minutes, whatever the time frame, so you can use a latest that will find out a daily candle. Okay, so if I use this daily candle, so this much of stock which is forming a hammer. This, okay. Let me go to check RBL Bank B E D L whether it is hammer or not. So we'll go for our stocks. And if you want to join that broking account with me, so the link will be provided in the description. So we can go for RBL Bank whether it is right or wrong. Perfect hammer. And if you find out this much of hammer candle, almost sixty two stocks. Uh, Coal India. So Coal India. All India, almost sixty-two stocks looks like a hammer. So we need to find out a hammer candle which forms at the bottom. So look at this particular stock; it is keep on moving higher. And uh, finally, uh, this is what a lower level. But here there are hammer which is at a higher level. So I want to find out hammer at a low. So it will find out the hammer candle, and even uh, we can filter out that a hammer only positive stock. You can see uh, this particular coal India which closed with the negative. So hope you understood. And IDFC first one, it's about a hammer. What's happening? Yeah, it is about a hammer candle. Look at this hammer. It's about a red. If you want a green candle, so simply we can filter out by the green candle. The close price must be greater than open price. Uh, greater than today's latest open. So it, it, this will filter out only the hammer candle which forms on a gale. Gale. Let me go for a gale. Only 19 stocks from 62. We find out the 19 stocks. Look at this gale. A perfect hammer candle at the bottom. After three consecutive uh, down days, we are finding a hammer candle at the bottom level. Maybe we are focusing for a breakout over and above. Uh, this point is around 112. Here is the point around 106. So above to that point. So we can focus on maybe a breakout chance. Okay, so only nineteen stocks. Okay, so you can see this after a downtrend we find out a hammer candle on gale in uh, Nifty and Bank Nifty also a hammer today. So Nifty that is also be a hammer. Yeah, after three consecutive down candle, so we find a hammer in Nifty and Bank Nifty that is also looks like a hammer. So overall market is forming a hammer candle. That's why we find out a uh, many more stocks. Almost uh, we find out 19 stocks. Okay, let's come to that point. So when hammer candle which present the latest close greater than open, so it will find out the stock which is positive close. And even we can filter out. We are normally using the future stocks, so that's no problem. And then uh, what is the important conditions which we can uh, go for it? And that low, the latest low, must be uh, 10 days low or 20 days low or 30 days low. If you follow that, it may be going to give you even better chances for uh, finding the lower level. So, using that condition, the low 
uh, uh, the latest low but that means the today's low candle so what i'm going to after completing i will tell you what i'm just going to talk about so it must be less than or equal and less than is good enough and uh, i need to derive some candle numbers number of candles maybe uh, 20 candles so one day ago here we use one day ago 20 candles low so i'm using this functions almost we have a 19 stocks daily time frame if i used only four stocks what's happening this four stocks so if i took this four stocks rbl bank canara bank nmdg and gain so go to check that rbl bank sorry rbl bank which i'm going to focus the candlestick look at this from <coughs> 164 at the top and after consecutive down this low this particular low is almost 20 days low comparing last to 20 candles so this is what a lowest level so maybe we are expecting for a trend reversal so we find out after the downtrend after the downtrend the hammer candle which forms at the bottom maybe the trend reversal should be highly possible and daily time frame in the second stock is about uh, NMDC. That is also be one of the stock. Look at this, the previous high, and you can see the trend down and the uh, lowest level of the day. We find out the hammer can. That's good. So simply that will filter out the hammer. Even we can add uh, even more conditions and filters to our uh, scanners. But as of now, this is the scanner which I want to easily find out a stock which forming a hammer at 20 days low. So if you want to go for a 30 40 days low or one month low 30 days and uh, even uh, one stock will be removed uh, rbl bank what is it if i use a 20 days the stock will be there that is kendra bank okay so 30 days if i use kendra bank will be removed so let me go to check kendra bank look at this this low may be comparing to the last 20 days but if i'm comparing the 30 days maybe this may be the low Okay, today is 20, last 30 days back, 21st April. This is the low, but today's low is not uh, giving you such a good opportunity. But the stock is forming here, and uh, there is an opportunity for this stock we are going to get. So maybe even uh, you can increase for uh, 60 days or 100 days, whatever the thing. So if I'm using 60 days, only NMDC, two months low. The hammer which forms on a two months low in this particular stock. But if I'm comparing, this low almost uh, we can see lows here maybe from November. If I use a uh, more than six month, so one 180, maybe the stock will be there. Uh, not 180, 160, 150 days, 140. So maybe 120 four months yeah so four months low <clears throat> so we simply filter out by using this formula and even uh, if it is a bottom so we can compare with rsi rsi or uh, volume so let me go to check uh, 20 days i'll go for a 20 days we find out uh, four different stocks right so here also we can add the volume and volume also we can compare so one day ago volume is greater than today today's volume like that so volumeable stocks a hammer candle which forms with the volume so volume the latest volume must be greater than one day ago volume means uh, the volume today's volume should be greater than one day ago volume so that is also be another key we can use so look at this all the stocks satisfying so the scanner is running only rbl the volume factor which we have added so only rbl bank is the highest volume compared to the previous day so let me go to add rbl bank and check the volume there is an indicator volume <coughs> look at this yesterday's volume somewhere around uh, seven nine seven point two nine and today today's volume the day before yesterday's volume is seven point two nine and eight point six seven so hammer candle which forms at the bottom along with the good volume so how to filter out the stock by step by step and even i can avoid this even rsi conditions rsi below 30 or below 50 above 40 something like that we can go for rsi 
also we can use rsi uh, greater than uh, 30 or greater than uh, greater than 30 sorry instead of that less than less than 30 if i use the less than 30 sorry means it's so a over uh, sold condition sorry over bought sorry over sold below na no? over sold and so maybe the recovery to 30 no stocks 35 no stocks 40 yeah nmdc so rsi below 50 all the stocks so maybe it is not uh, rsi is not greater than 40 it is below 40 50 so we find lot of stocks all the four stocks satisfy but if i using volume conditions we have only one stock rvl but <clears throat> so you can use so rsi is not important at this point the volume also okay not an important but if you want to add so you can add more conditions to find out a great opportunity to your stock i think uh, this may be a great trade or a great uh, idea where we can find out let me save this can under private conditions i am saving you now but i already told you how to create that that's okay and if i saved it maybe this day four stock and mdc gain and previously we find out one stock rain industries on 15 5 so let me go to check rain industries the in where it is maybe at this point 15 5 even it is triggers our stop loss maybe we are next day we got a breakout around 151 our stop loss of this particular trade 147 got triggered but still the stock which is available on the scanner so that means the scanner will not be repaint it is not a repaintable scanner it is a scanner which is available on this particular uh, uh, dashboard or a back test result that is a true but if i am taking a hammer this may be a stop loss in the initially given you breakout and it may be hit my stop loss so no problem at all on this particular stock so even into stop loss no problem and sometimes about 24 april take him 24th april maybe at this point we find out exactly and that high is broken the high price is 1007 maybe at this point we got it maybe the stop loss but next day it opened gap lower and then immediately moves and if i took at this point from 1006 now it is 1072 that's a good Good move. So it is not for an intraday because we are taking the stock by daily time frame. It's not be suitable for intraday. Maybe we are to wait for a positional basis by using this hammer candle, and uh, we find out at the lowest level. If I don't want to find a lowest level, and uh, you can uh, go to check this. If I removed, you can daily get a uh, much more stocks. If you go for a uh, back test result, you will be daily getting a lot of stocks here. You can see Tata Chemical. I think yesterday, uh, that is about two days back, Tata Chemical, Aisher Motor. Uh, that is a hammer candle. Aisher Motor here, Tata Chemical. But it is an highest level. Can you get this is what a perfect hammer? But we want to find out that a hammer should be happen at a lowest level. That should be the great opportunity for a trend reversal. I hope you understand what the scanner which you have commented on my. A video i hope this may be helping you uh you can create with this type so maybe getting good result and those who are already my joined on my telegram group you will be getting the scanner very quickly thank you so much thanks for watching this video and if you like this video hit your like button and share to your friends if you have any questions just comment on the comment box thank you so much